In the last video, uh, we talked about the nucleophilic addition mechanism here, which is now just summarized here for you. Okay, so we've got a uh, cyanide ion attacking the electron deficient carbon of a carbonyl. It is it breaks the carbon oxygen double bond, the electron pair from that covalent bond from the pi bond goes to the oxygen. This leaves us now with a carbon oxygen single bond. The oxygen has got a negative charge and a lone pair of electrons, and that attacks a proton which is added to the to the reaction mixture at the end. And not forgetting that the cyanide has now attached to the carbon of that carbonyl. And so we are now eventually left with this molecule which is a hydroxy uh, nitrile compound. In this case it's 2-hydroxy uh, propane nitrile. What we said was there is uh, four different groups attached to this carbon in the centre so therefore we have a stereo centre so we must uh, work out the what would happen in terms of what stereo centre would occur. So if we just scroll up here, what we can see is the answer is we actually get a mixture of both enantiomers. Okay, here we've got one enantiomer, the nitrile is pointing up, the uh, OH group is pointing towards the plane of the mirror, the methyl group's pointing away and the hydrogens, but well, it's coming out of the plane but then the hydrogen's pointing away and going back into the plane of the computer screen. The enantiomer, the opposite uh, chiral centre, uh, still has the OH close to the uh, mirror, the CN vertical and the methyl group pointing out this side to the right and then the hydrogen pointing away to the right. Okay, so why is it that we get a mixture, and and it is an equal mixture of both enantiomers? So what is going on? So one way to think about it is to look at our uh, starting aldehyde here. Just move that name. So our starting aldehyde here, uh, we've got the methyl group pointing out towards us. The hydrogen is pointing away from us. Now it's quite difficult to visualise that the hydrogen is actually going away into the, into the screen. Um, so what I'll do is I will take this molecule now and start to rotate it. So we can rotate it in a number of different ways. We can make it go back to front, up and down, side to side. And this is really what's happening in solution all the time. The, uh, there's enough energy at room temperature to make the molecules be vibrating and swinging around like this. So what <clears throat> what I would what we want to think about is this scenario here where we have our carbon oxygen bond still horizontal. The methyl group is now definitely pointing out towards us and hopefully you know you can appreciate that the hydrogen is pointing away from you. Okay, so this means that when we take our uh, nitrile, sorry, our cyanide ion, it can actually approach this flat surface either from above or below the plane of the carbonyl bond, i.e. above or below the C double bond on. And there is nothing preventing the cyanide iron from approaching from either the bottom or from the top and so we actually get a nucleophilic addition reaction occurring from the top of the molecule just my arrow and we also get a nucleophilic addition reaction occurring from the bottom of the molecule as well. So just let me put my lone pair on here and an arrow. So not the 
cast iron on both. Hopefully you can now see that we're getting the nitro sorry the cyanide is approaching from the bottom or it's approaching from the top. And I'll just make it a bit clearer for you. Okay, when we get the nit the uh, cyanide ion approaching from the top like this and the methyl group is pointing down this way and the hydrogen is pointing away th that way then the carbon oxygen bond will move down into this position here and so we end up with this enantiomer as I said before there is an equal probability of the bottom sorry of this cyanide ion attacking from the bottom and when it attacks from the bottom it gives us this enantioma here and so we end up with an equal amount of both enantiomers so we have got um, a completely racemic mixture okay uh, so happy studying and yeah, we'll see you soon.